In this video, we are going to show you how to create a reusable eForm widget using the Agile Point NX form based application. There are many ways widgets can be used on your forms or applications. For example, eForms can be rendered as smaller widgets and then placed on a portal builder page or in an application. For example, let's say you wanted to create a map control, a QR code, or perhaps put an announcement list on your main Portal Builder homepage. This can now be done without having to rely on custom coding. Instead, you can build a custom widget using eForms and then embed the widget right within your application. In this example, we will be building a widget from an eForm to be used in an external application. To begin, click on Build Apps in the Portal menu. Then on the My Application screen, Click on the Add App button in the Build an App section. This displays the application type window where we are going to select Form Based Application and click Next. In the new application window, we are going to enter the name of the application in the application name text box. You can also select a language and a description, but for this demonstration, we are using the default settings. Click Next. This will display the primary data source window. Since this is a widget based application, a data source does not have to be defined, so widget only will be selected. Click Next. In the New Form window, enter a name in the Form Name text box. A description can be entered, but again, in this demonstration, we will be using the default settings. Click Finish. This creates a blank form and opens the Form Builder. Here is where the form will be designed. For now, let's leave the form settings as the default values and close the window. To start building the widget, drag and drop the map control from the advanced controls tab. Let's use the default name for the label and click the configure tab. For the API key token option, Click the select box and select your token from the drop down list. If an API key token is not listed, then a global access token will need to be created using your Google Maps API key from your Google Developer account. For the map zoom level, let's adjust it to a higher setting. Next is the map center option. This is the location the map will capture and display we want to display the current location. With the setting for the map controls finished, let's close the settings window. Let's expand the map control across two columns. Next, we will add a geolocation to the form. The geolocation control is also found in the advanced controls tab. Drag the control next to the map control and drop it onto the form. Enter geolocation for the label name and click the Configure tab. In the Select a Map Control to Highlight the Captured Location option, select your map control from the Select Box drop down list. The name that is displayed in the drop down list will be taken from the value entered in the internal name text box on the map control. This completes the settings for the geolocation control. Let's close the settings window. With the widget finished, let's preview the form to see if it's working correctly. Hover over Perspective View in the Form Builder menu and select PC Browser from the drop down list. This will open the form in a new browser tab. You can see the map has pinned this location, and the geolocation is reporting the longitude, latitude, and timestamp of the pinned location on the map. At the top of the form, you will see that a header is being displayed. This header can be removed so that it will not display in your application. To remove the header, let's go back to the Form Builder and click on Settings in the Form Builder menu. Click the Advanced tab. Then go to the Show Header to Form User option. Click the Select box and select No from the drop down list. This will remove the header from the form. Now let's close the Settings window. Hover over Perspective View in the Form Builder menu to open the form again in a new browser tab. You can see the header has been removed from the form. Let's again return to the Form Builder screen. 
Another feature that will not be available in the widget is the submit and cancel buttons and therefore will not be displayed when building or viewing forms as a widget. With the form completed, let's save and check in the application so we can see how the widget can be used. Back on the Application Explorer screen, select the application and in the My Applications menu, click Publish. Select Check-in in the dialog box. Click the Check-in button in the Check-in Pending Changes window to confirm that all files are being checked in. This will display the Publish Application window, where you can enter your application label, version number, and description, or you can use the default entries. Because this is a widget, no view forms were created when selecting the form-based application. Because of that, you will notice that the Publish Applications window does not have a default view option to select from. Let's click the Publish button. Then OK. With the application published, select the application to expand its contents. Next, select App Model and Resources to expand its contents. Then select Forms. And lastly, select Widget Forms. This will display all widget forms in your application. Let's select the widget. This will display a copy link menu option in the My Applications menu. Click the copy link menu option. This will display the copy link dialog box where the link to the widget is available to be copied for use in other applications. Let's click the copy icon to copy the link to the clipboard. Close the dialog box and open a new browser tab. Now, we will paste the copied link into the address bar and hit return. As you can see, this opens the widget in your browser and displays the location with a pin on the map along with the geolocation coordinates and timestamp. Your form-based widget is now ready to use.